So I think I think and here actually I, I would I would love to expand a little bit more because this this was um, I would say for me I think the most intense period of of our uh, application essentially making sure that you're uh, up to the up to the point that they were uh, expecting you to be uh, over there. Um, so so once again you know just as much as all these people were giving us advice before saying start applying so you find out what you're missing, mm. but also around the time was something that I, I did mention before, it was that second time when we discovered a massive, not a knowledge gap, but I, I suppose like an approach, um, something about your approach that made things a lot harder for you. Just like we said before mm. that, for instance, doing a tutorial hell. So like just following tutorials is actually essentially about approach or not knowing how to get into building an app because you don't know how to turn specification into code, right? Mm. Or you don't know what error messages are and you just stare blankly at, you know, at your screen when you get an error and you don't know which way to look and you just change a random line. These are all these kind of, you know, peripheral sort of errors about that approach itself, not about your knowledge of how JavaScript works, how CSS mm. works and all that. So at that time, something occurred to me, which which kind of opened my eyes a lot to, to, to how you were learning until now and why you were struggling with some of the things we were struggling. Because me as a mentor, I was trying to understand you as much as I could. Do you remember what it was? Or do you want me to? Pr prompt me, I've got a good idea. Go ahead, go ahead, right. you, uh, so, yeah. so, so essentially, when I code, if I run into an issue and I can't figure it out for about five seconds, I bang, go to Google and Stack Overflow. And then I try to get the answer ASAP. Whenever I run into any problem I have, and I even take it outside of coding, but if it's an error, if it's an, I don't know, obviously if it's a silly thing, like I miss a semicolon or whatever, a comma, you, mm. you, you probably can spot that, you know, uh, without going to Stack Overflow. But w when you get an error that is somehow un unknown to you because you're using a new library that you haven't used previously, rather than trying to read it and forever spend, you know, trying to get, get what this is about, I believe about 60 to 80% of issues I'm running into can be answered by switch to Chrome, Google exactly the error message, open the first Stack Overflow tab or first GitHub issues or whatever first information you can find that seems relevant to you. Stack Overflow is normally the best place to go to read the first answer. Don't read the question. I, I know people will hate mm. me for that. Don't read the question. Don't even read the answer itself. Look for the code blocks in the answer and go, does that make sense? Is that an answer? That looks like an answer. All right, copy paste this, right? It's good to actually know what this code does. I don't uh, try to suggest that actually copying mm. code that you yeah. don't understand is a good, good idea, but it's about diving right into the answer as soon as you can without stopping yourself forever with the, you know, with the, oh shit, why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? There is something about what you're doing that isn't what you're assuming. And you want to make mm. that little correction so you get back on track. You don't want to dive into the problem itself. You don't want to be really deep into it and, and like trying to you know understand how does React work at the, at the ground level. No, you just made a, mm. a small assumption that's wrong. Correct yourself as soon as you can. And there's so many issues that you can run into while it's coding that I think approaching them with that perspective of as soon as you don't know, fuck off. Go to Google, go to Stack Overflow, mm. find an answer, try the first few answers. If within the first few minutes you still struggle, that's maybe an indication that the problem is more more important than you th than, than you assume that it's it's deeper, and mm. you may want to dig a little bit deeper and, and try to understand it. So, with that in mind, what I observed is that with these very fundamental and basic issues like cannot read map of undefined and like errors that that mm. that kind of could be easily answered you run into a, a problem that is so obvious for you to make. It's, it's such a, it's such like, I understand so well why you thought this way, but mm. it's so good we managed to, to, to rid of that, is that you told me that at that stage, you thought that because you've done map, you know, filter, you've done React, you've done state mm. management, you've done CSS, HTML, that you're meant to be remembering how to do these things. And that, to me, just was an eye opener. I was like, no, dude, no, 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 no. <laughs> you're meant to know more or less. You're meant to remember more or less which way to be going. But you're not meant to remember the syntax, exact syntax of every single function you ever learned. And you told me, you know what? I feel bad, boy, because at that stage, I thought, well, if I don't know this, that kind of shows I'm not a good JavaScript developer because I don't remember that. And these are fundamental things about how to convert a string mm. into an, in, whatever, an integer into a string or how to write a map or, or how to build a 
uh, React component. Yes, I agree, these are basic things, but nobody requires you to know them by heart, and especially mm -hmm. not if you're a junior. Like, I currently, you know, with my experience already, not to claim that it's massive, but with, you know, the years that I've already done coding, I do this all the time. I, rem I forget the simplest things, and I feel no shame for doing that, because on a, on a big scale level, programming isn't about those nitty-gritty things, how to reverse a string and how a filter works and how was the exact syntax of a React component. It's none, it's none of that. Although I know that for someone who doesn't know this, it may seem like it is. And I can totally mm. see why you came to programming thinking you're meant to be remembering these things. You're meant to know in the ninth month of your experience how to write a proper filter. And I can totally see why you thought this way. So I thought that correction was, to me, one of the key corrections we made in your approach. And I could see that you picked it up mm. relatively well. And within a few days, you were much, much better at just quickly going, bang, I don't know, let's go and find out and feel, feel no shame. And, and, and also you told me that it actually made you feel worse about yourself. So to, to like psychologically get over that and get into a mm. stage of where, where you were, ha were fine, you were content with not knowing shit. Getting to that stage mm. to me was, was a big milestone. And, and I, was, I feel really happy. I, we got there before you landed the job because I felt that was a big part of you making it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Because I think... The old me was, uh, in some sort of sadistic way, quite enjoyed going in on the problem. Okay, what's what's here? Getting my magnifying glass out and spending hours, if not days, trying to solve something which probably could have been Googled in 20 seconds. So in, in some ways I was thinking, well, even, even though I'm not solving the issue, I'm learning a bit more about where to look, what could go wrong. But it's it's... When you're, when you're on the developer journey and you haven't got a job, you've got the time to do that. Mm -hmm. And I think this was a, a good realization in as much that t there's a bit of time pressure when you've got a job. You know, you've, you've got a task. You know, not, not every company is going to be on you 24-7, but there, 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 there's a deadline to some, to some degree. So being able to switch from that, oh, let me spend a day figuring it out to let me just get this work in so I can move on to the next thing. That was a, bit, that was a big shift. And I think one of the other things that we also realized around that time, or at least I realized about myself is, I think I, I said it's, like, it's my gift and my curse in as much that when I have a task, I've already planned out the next eight steps, which is great for logistics, Correct. which is what I used to do. It's great for planning a holiday. But when it comes to programming, that task list was getting bigger and bigger and I was getting overwhelmed by it. And I was like, well, shit, after this, I've got to do that. And then after that, it's that. And I mm. don't know how to do step seven yet. So all of that was coming down on me and I was like crumbling under the pressure essentially. And I got really stressed about it, yeah. which is, is just rare for me anyway, because I'm usually quite a chilled guy. So being able to handle and manage that, that, that pressure and that stress was also a, a very valid lesson and experience to, to go through is co coding under pressure, which is something um, I think Jean mentioned at some stage is, you know, that that's another skill in itself. When you're sat in your own room with no deadline and you're just making a project for shits and giggles, mm -hmm. there's no time pressure. I mean, I always had that pressure I put on myself of, okay, let's try and get a job ASAP. But in terms of, you know, solving a, you know, a couple of lines of code, it's a different it's a different, you need a different approach if there's, if there's, if, if time is a factor. Totally. And, you know, being aware of how my mind was skipping on loads of steps, like, no, just concentrate on the task at hand, break it down, do that. If you, you literally would say to me, right, you, you'd almost count five seconds, right? You don't know it, go Google it. It's like, okay. Yeah. And then it's like, and then, okay, oh, I've got this error now and I'd be there. Hmm. And then, oh no, no. Okay. Let me go and Google it. Yeah. So just getting that, that muscle just sped the whole process up and you end up learning quicker mm -hmm. by, by doing that, which the old me would have thought, well, that's, it's kind of cheating and it highlights you don't know it if you get, if you're having to Google it, which isn't the right mindset. Cause I think coming from, you know, a coaching background, you, you can't go and Google stuff in the middle of a session. Very good point. You've either got that skill, ability, or or question inside you, or you don't. You can't go, ah, oh, that's some, that's very interesting what you just said. Let me just go and check my good coaching questions to ask document. <laughs> and do that in a coaching session. You need to have it up here. True. So I brought that mentality over to coding and yeah, sort of many jobs. That's most people will come to. Yeah, coding like this. It's the, it's education Everybody. in general. Yeah, it's just totally. Learn you're a doctor, we'll you're a lawyer. You, you can't go like, well, excuse me, Jerry. What was that again? No, you need yeah. to have it in there. Yeah, massive. I, I point. almost took it massive like, well, 
how can I apply for this React job if I can't even remember how to do like the syntax for map? Yeah, 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 and yeah, that, yeah. You know, these were genuine doubts that were coming up, but they're almost laughable, you know, for, for you on the other side. It's like, no, it's not, totally normal to not remember everything. Yeah, but but, but, but then that's the um, whole point. That's the whole realization of, of knowing, no, dude, of course he will think this way. Of course he will think mm -hmm. this way. And it, it makes so much sense that you did. And I feel, part, part of me felt ashamed we only discovered it that late, you know? So it's totally, there is a lot of key points for me as a mentor to, to improve on. But, but, but having done that realization, I was like, oh, that's it. That's why you're struggling. That's why you get stuck. That's why you sitting quiet. And, and like, I'm, you remember those, mm. these, those moments I'd be saying, hey, Sam, what are you thinking? And you couldn't answer. Because one, you had these seven steps ahead that you were thinking about, and they were mm. crumbling onto you. On the other side, you're like, should I admit that I don't know this? Because uh, <laughs> you're going to say, oh, man, you should probably know this by now. And that can build up onto you. You know, there's a lot yeah. of these personal, personal kind of difficulties that mm. we'd be running into when learning coding that is not like any other job, right? Like that, that allows you to say, I have no fucking clue. Mm -hmm. And and it's and it's it's a good thing when you can say you know I have no bloody clue and I know how to find out I know how, I, you give me internet for five minutes I, I'll have the answer for you because to me yeah. um, honestly it's it's so much more valuable if you know how to quote how to find information quickly another thing that's hardly ever mentioned in any courses any boot camps is how to quickly dig into information that you that you required they'll teach you how to write components and how to mm -hmm. communicate with a database and how to start up a server or whatnot, but how to look for the information you're lacking. Be prepared for failure. Failure in this case being just lack of knowledge. Prepare yourself for that, right? And know what to do when it happens rather than prepare yourself for everything when everything goes well. Well, that's fantastic, but that's not the reality now, is it? Mm. So, 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 so when we dug into that and we, we uh, opened that Pandora box and, and to me, it really felt like that was just a big turning point. And, um, and then I saw improvement within days, within days, you get so much better at coding when, mm. when we got that, that point across, you know, which is, which is great. And I, I remember you were worried that, uh, within the time frame you were given to complete the, the test exercise that you will not be able to, uh, to do it. And, and I was reassuring you that you would. And you, you told me, no, man, how would I? Like, there are all these things I have to do in there. And me with my mindset of, oh, you just Google this, 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 and that, and you get it done. Mm. In my head, it was oh, super simple task, <laughs> right? Was in your, in your mindset, yeah. then it was still, oh man, I don't know if I would, if I don't know if I could. So I was, I was stoked and I was so happy <laughs> when you told me when you finished, cause, cause I was, I was like a parent, you know, on my toes thing like, oh, he's writing it right <laughs> now. What's going to happen? You know? And then you told me, man, I did everything. I did every single thing I planned for this, for this task within the required time. Uh, and I even had spare time. So I went back and I refactored something. I was like, dude, this is massive. This is such an improvement from where you were a week ago. And mm, I, I feel yeah. that big part of it was your ability to quickly just say, I don't know, but that's fine. Let's go and find out. Okay, this is how you do it. Fine. Done. Next mm. task. What's the next task? And also that capability of, of going back and, and not thinking seven steps ahead, but, but just tiny bit. What's the next thing I do? Eventually you get somewhere. Uh, so kind mm. of, kind of th th that encompassed essentially all our learning process and essentially everything we spoke about in this call until up until today, because that these tests essentially, yeah, they, they reiterated a lot of the things that you were learning over the, mm. over the months. And, and, and yeah, to, to me, the fact that you landed the job is just a cherry on top. But the fact that you nailed down that test and, and completed it so well, you know, at that first try, being able to, 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 to deliver it in, in, in a way that, you know, I knew was correct, uh, at least as far as I could evaluate it. Uh, to me, that was the victory, essentially. That was a big, big victory in, in that process. And the fact that you laid, that what happened after that is, is another story. Uh, but the fact that you got it uh, was just the cherry on top. Yeah, it's a bit of a roller coaster. <laughs>